John's vision of the Ecosystem Restoration Camps was to, to form some kind of marriage between the needs to restore very degraded land with huge numbers of volunteers that are available and are willing to learn and to work on ecological restoration in different areas around the world. Me cuesta mucho aceptar la idea de que tengamos un modelo productivo y estamos haciendo las cosas de una manera que estén estropeando nuestro suelo y estén estropeando, eh, en fin, nuestra finca. Sería una locura que, que no pudiera seguir más. Eh, me encantaría que pudiera seguir muchas generaciones más y en vez de que vaya empeorando, que vaya mejorando. They want to create a model that local farmers could replicate. The tilling and like the agriculture is what's stopping the ecosystem. So if they could be more ecological, it's a much more beneficial for the ecosystem. The land, it was quite degraded agricultural land to start with. You can't really see so much now because of the snow. The soil was really heavily compacted, so it's really difficult for the roots to get through that. But like the initial groundwork that was done was the swales. A lot of the water was flowing down and a lot of the soil as well with it. So it's created catchment areas to slow down that process. We got machinery uh, to open up the soil. We've been uh, applying compost to the upper areas, but we've cover cropped the whole five hectares. Once the seeds start growing, then we can hold that water in the soil a bit more better. So it can start building up the humus layer on the areas that has been heavily eroded. We're going to do a vegetable garden down at the bottom. We'll be doing a forest garden. nice and green, loads of flowers. You can see the difference the ponds and the swales are making to the water retention already. We've got an awful lot more, for example, a butterfly species I've noticed. There's people and buildings going up, full of life in all the ways. When can I always fix anybody you don't have so well? You're gonna have to cut him while you're gonna have to jump. The sky and I, we have had our fights and I'm coming round to the end. As the sun goes down, it won't come out, then we never have to speak again. We can tick, 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 Todo de la junquera es buenísimo, ya que hubiera más experiencia en todos estos alrededores, daría vida a estos sitios pues, a la alegría del pueblo. Vienen a la tienda, van a los bares, a la panadería, y es bueno para todos. I've learned an awful lot about restoration in dry land systems, in the quite harsh conditions here in the Altiplano, where we have very, very cold winters and very hot summers. Hay vecinos, hay gente, y se ve movimiento. Le hacemos pan ecológico también. The rains came, we'd done the work that allowed us to harvest that water, get it into the ground, start turning it into plants. I've met some of the most fantastic people, given me space to be creative. Building healthy soil, planting things. Something that I can do with all of my energy that I really believe in, rather than studying something that interests me but it not really having any effect, or working in a job that's uh, somewhat meaningful, but... Back home in London, where I grew up, there was so much work, doing things I didn't love just to get to that point. And here I'm just like in it all the time. The, the personal transformation you get is kind of like through the process of like doing the work and transforming this area with people. Learning how to live well together, learning to trust that everyone is trying to do the right thing in the best way they know possible. Restoration on, on many levels just by, by, by starting to do something. Oh, 